And I, and I think one thing that like one thing women and men should do is like stop. Pick who you listen to. Don't listen to everyone. Not everyone has good advice. Everyone can speak, but that doesn't mean they have good advice. So be selective of who you 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 know who you take advice from. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vaughn, and we're back with another reaction. I got a fetish for cheese. I tell you, you better believe. Who really ahead of the G? Today we're gonna react to Kevin Samuels asking the question: Do modern women have good choices? I'm assuming it meant, but let's see what he's talking about. So at what age do you think you should lower your price? I, I love think that, that, that you gave the answer. If God himself comes down and is like, this is your price, you're not really lowering your price. You're actually realizing like the value that you actually are. No, no, what I'm saying, God comes back, God comes down and says, you're not going to get that high value man or the man. I wonder when, like, when does he have his lives? Because I kind of want to like, I kind of want to like watch one of them like act to like live to see what you know see the different people that jump on that live because it must be funny <laughs> it must be funny your dreams like this he says because so many women are holding out for the better deal and the guy says mm. you're not gonna get a six-figure man mm. you're gonna get a man that's an average guy is that true like i wonder like or is that true about women that like like they uh they kind of just wait it out type thing. Like they, they wait it out to see like the best person that they can get. I mean, that's good. Like, but sometimes like you, you, you might, you might meet that person that is for you and like not even know it if you're just waiting. That's true too. So gotta be careful out here. The average black man in America earns $40,500. Right. Mm. He always has I don't so see anything wrong with him, number one. And number two, as soon as I found out the information, that's when I would be like, all right, let me go for for that. So I don't know why people are waiting. I don't know why women are waiting. So about what age do you think that is? I think you should probably get serious. Um, maybe like 27, 28, if you don't have anything else going on. And I say anything else like school or, you know, bad school. But even in that, I would encourage more black people. Yeah. To like, like, I don't know, like this, like, I think it's different for like, to like, I think it's different for men and women because like men, like, I don't know, I can speak for myself, like, you know, I have goals for myself and I kind of want to accomplish those goals before like doing anything else. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know what happened there, but yeah, so like I was saying, like I have goals for myself and then I think most guys are like that where like they want to accomplish those goals first before doing anything, you know, actually like before, you know, being serious. And if, if a woman is, you know, willing to kind of persevere with a man or wait, but also the man has to be able to communicate with the woman, you know, about these things but if the woman is willing to wait and you know kind of until he kind of accomplish his goals that he set for himself then it can be beautiful or it can be you know prosperous but you know you have to you have to communicate with the woman because her herself like she's thinking differently and she's thinking like okay you know i want to have kids by this time or i want to you know do this by this time like her time is ticking like she's thinking about her eggs like you know, her time is kind of, you know, like expedited. So she might be stressing about it. So you gotta, you know, you just gotta communicate with, with the People person. to really like try to find your spouse while you're going through that process. So you said if you don't have anything serious going on. Yeah, sometimes you cannot yeah. uh, focus on a relationship, especially building one and going through school. I mean, I've experienced that with uh, certain people. So okay. maybe like 27, 28. Yeah, I don't know. This this camera is like giving me issues. Sorry for the different angle, but my stand just keeps dying. But let's get back to the video. Is the time so, we need to so why is it that then, let me challenge you on that. Why is it that I can see our white counterparts, our Asian counterparts, Middle Eastern counterparts, Hispanic counterparts <laughs> in medical school, in law school, get married? Well, I think they have a different mindset, Kevin. And I think that's, you're talking about it, but I think we really do need to address it and change it. We don't encourage our people to like, find your spouse when you're in school. We don't encourage that. And we don't, we don't encourage our women. We don't, I, I, I think that's, we don't encourage our women. I mean, I don't know about, I mean, I, I think that applies for women and men, to be honest. Like, when me, like, I can just speak for myself, but like, you know, my parents didn't tell me about finding my spouse in 
and uh, that I'm gonna find my spouse or finding my spouse in you know in college. So I mean, I think that applies to both both you know both sexes. Really? Women are uh, women tell women to not get married young. I think it. <sighs> I think it may be both. Mm. Just okay. How often have you watched? Yeah, I think it's both too. I watch it a lot. As how many times have you watched the show and you hear a college-educated black woman say she had a boyfriend for two plus years and she broke it off with it, or she had a fiance in college and broke it off with it? Right. How often do you hear that happen? Very often. What more than 25, 30, (laughs) 40, 50? What percentage? What percent? What percentage of the time? Ooh. College educated black woman. How many times do they have a long relationship or fiancés? Oh, uh, 60 is high. No, it's yeah. close to about 75, 80%. Yeah, it's high. So Dang. they had men who were suitable and marriageable, but they were too young, not ready. Women have told each other, y'all, don't, don't get married, girl. So it's not men. Men are ready. So, yeah, I, I feel like I feel like some I don't know. Like, it's so subjective because yeah, the, he's right though. Some men are ready at that point, but some aren't. Like, but like they might not be ready to make that that commitment at that point, but they might be ready to, to make another commitment. And it's just up to the woman to if she's willing to kind of wait it out type thing and like but also she needs to be sure the woman needs to be sure that like she's the end goal is going to be in some like some time is like somewhere in the near future you know it's not going to be like in a distant future because also it's like you know in her in her view it's like yo what am i waiting for type thing so you know? it's not our culture it's the women you think uh, I, I'm not gonna take it off the women. I think it's both people. But what I'm saying is, even when I was in school, yeah. people would say, "Oh, just focus, net. Like, don't worry about whose people." My whole family. I mean, the yeah. men and Are the we, women. Okay, but the men were they married? Yes, every man in my family is married. My brothers are married. My dad is married. My grandparents have been married. So, like, everybody in my family is family oriented. But they told me to focus, and I am. And did I, they did they do the same thing? Mm, my dad got married immediately after college. Um, so the people in your family who are married, did they marry earlier than 27, 28? Yes. yes. So hold on. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I, I tell them that all the time. Then again. maybe it was about you. Uh-huh. Because if you're telling me that all your family, most of them are married, and they all married under 27, uh-huh. uh, did you pick any? Did you pick guys worth a damn? I did not. I did a bad job. There you go. So <laughs> it's on you. They saw what you were bringing through the door and said, "Uh, uh-uh. uh." Yeah. Now that's true. Now so that's again, true. it ain't about the men. It's about women. It's about you. Yeah. Ah, uh, see, like I, I get what he's saying, but like I you know I don't just want to put it on. You know, I just don't want to put it all on women. Like it's all women's fault. But I get what he's saying, like, you know, like, um, women, like, I get what he's saying, like, women can, might have, like, a good dude, and then, kind of, because of whatever is just going on in their head, they might, they might end it with that good dude, and then, you know, boom, later on, look back and be like, oh, like, I shouldn't have done that, but I feel like maybe that good dude might have done something to make her feel that way like so i don't know like make her get to that point where she feels though like it's not i don't know like so i don't know i don't, I don't want to put on just some good dude let me know what you guys think like do you guys think it's like both parties like it's both sexes both the male and the female's fault or do you just think it's just the female's fault or just the male's fault let me know in the comments because that's what it comes down to it's not us black men you know this, okay, was no, one biggest, okay, this is one of the biggest this is one of the biggest that's the what. That's the one thing about Kevin. Like he, he. I mean, he's a, he's like a like a male advocate. Like he, he's like me, he kind of. Yeah, he doesn't say that men are perfect, but like sometimes his content is like men. Men are just the perfect. Like they don't do anything wrong, which is not true. Like we have our own fault that we have our own things that we need to fix. 
but you know he gets on the woman a lot which is i mean there's revelations on my channel kevin hold on let me go back what i was saying is that you were saying who's telling women this and i was saying men and women are telling women this not mm -hmm. that we don't own a part in this yeah but yeah, i agree like i agree like my like i i don't think they told like my parents didn't tell me but like they always like they told me to like just take my time with things and that's just how i operate but sometimes i could like you know that's gonna be that could be good and bad like for me like it's just it works for me like i like to take my time with things and you know that's just, it might not work for some other people but but i like i don't know like some people yeah i don't know but let's be honest women don't listen to me. women don't listen to me black women don't listen to me you listen to women yeah i learned yeah. to men. Yeah. yeah after you fail enough that's true I mean, y'all are the ones rocking around talking about all the women independent. I need a soldier. I mean, black men have been asked for the same three things. Women to be cooperative, mm -hmm. fit your own hair, and preferably no kids. Right. And they have Yeah, I, I agree with that. Like like I don't know, like I don't know if I could I could be in a relationship with someone if they had kids, like personally. I mean I I know for a fact I wouldn't. I know for a fact I wouldn't because I wouldn't even get into something like that. Like I wouldn't. I just wouldn't get into something like that. So, yeah, those those three criteria that he listed, like I, I think that applies to me too because I would like I would like you to be you know to to because I go to the gym so I like you to be fit like because that also motivates me like I want to be motivated so. Yeah. And they haven't gotten any of them. So, ladies gonna have to get to the point to where you realize, the older women, tell the younger women the wrong thing. Okay. Younger women already, and in our community, women are so ready to, this is what happens. And uh, Keisha goes to college, gets a- and I, and I think one thing that like, one thing women and men should do is like, stop, pick who you listen to. Don't listen to everyone. Not everyone has good advice. Everyone can speak, but that doesn't mean they have good advice. So be selective of who you, you you know who you take advice from because like for example i feel like a lot of these women or and men like take advice from people that like have failed relationships or failed marriages like th like that's why like i'm kind of like i don't know like there's some advice that like kevin gives that i'm kind of hesitant about and then some of them like, are like it makes sense but like just pick who you like you know be selective for who you take advice because not all advice is good advice it's a boyfriend her freshman and junior year Freshman or sophomore and junior year, but her senior year she breaks up with him because she knows she's gonna go out to New York or LA or something, and she don't want to have no boyfriend after college. She wanna be able to go, graduate, move into an apartment, turn up and have hot girl summer. While Becky yeah. Ferris and my so. are the opposite. They're going to look for men. Black women want that 21 to 28 year to go explore and find themselves, which it really means to get out here and date more and, and have more damage. Mm -hmm. So even at 27, 28, I would say no. I would say we need to start telling black women, you need to start getting, you need to get ready to be settled down at 23. Well, I, you know, I agree with you. Oh, 23. Whoo, nah, bro. Like, I'm not like, I, I'm no, no, nah. I mean, like not every person is like, I know like not every person is ready like ready to be settled at that such an early age, and most of the time like you don't even know the person, so like you have to I don't know like I disagree with that person. Let me know if you guys let me know what you guys you guys think in the comments. Like do you guys agree with that? Like that people should be getting like women should be getting married at twenty three. I completely disagree with that. Which we just had a conversation. I said I would tell my daughter when you when I send her off to college, I would probably have this same conversation. You know, just as hard as you study for your grades and you take time out to do that. Like dating is like work. And so just like you put in work for other things, you gotta put in work for this. Dang. And I don't think that we tell our kids that fact. enough. And, and that was actually a conversation that I had with some of my friends. At what age should we start being serious? And you know, at what age do women feel like they should start studying, preparing to be wise? I think that we got to do a better job of, and, and, and this has nothing to do with my dad because my dad is like, in my life, he's highly active. And the things that you talk about, I kind of laugh 
because he's been saying these whole things, he's like, Adrianette, you know, uh, you gotta stay in the gym, you know, mm -hmm. you gotta look a certain way, you know, um, I have a good job, so that's not an issue, but guys don't care about that. They care if you're nice, they care if you are, yeah. you can get along with people, they care if you look good on their arms, and they care if you can break. That's a fact, like, yeah, we like, men don't really care, like, especially a man that's like, you know, he, he also, he has his own, like, they don't, we don't care about that, <laughs> like, we don't care that, that you got your own money, don't get me wrong, like, when I say don't care, like, it's not, like, I want, like, you know, my significant other, I would like them to also be able to take care of themselves, or either be, you know, at my level, like, or they can be above me, I don't care, like, as long as, like, I would like them to have their own, basically, like, um, but like we don't really care about that like like yeah we care like we want you to look good on our arm like we want we, we you know stuff like that we want you to be able to cook for us. like like you like stuff that are like kind of like our like if you have a mom like you you know your stuff that your mom did for your dad like if you saw that stuff that they cook for your dad took care of him like men want to be taken care of too so that's a fact we don't really care about that. To the relationship. so if your father was telling you all that yeah um why didn't you listen to him I did. He told me not to marry the guy I was with, and I did not. Okay. Um, how tall are you? I am five eleven. Dress size? Oh my god. She she watches it so though. She watches it so because she started smiling because she knew like, oh right, here we go. 14. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? Two hundred and thirty pounds. <laughs> I'm in the gym. Don't worry. Don't worry about no. that. No. You got a gym membership. No, but what I'm saying is there's absolutely no. All right, you see, like I feel like I get it, like it's part of the entertainment, but like he did not have to do that, like especially because like I get it, like do that with like people that are being like like being like dicks, like but she's she's being fairly nice, like she's not being disrespectful, she's not cutting him off, she's listening to what he's saying, and he's. Still had to play that trumpet. Like, come on, like come no on. reason for a single woman to weigh what you weigh. That's why I can't. Like, I don't know. That's why I was such a issue with his content because, like, someone did him wrong. Like, a woman did him wrong. Like, for him to be like this because, like, it doesn't matter what the who, who the woman he like, whoever he's speaking to. Like, I man. But then again, I haven't watched all his content, but it does. It seems like it doesn't matter who he's speaking to. Like, regardless of being nice to him. Or like being a dick to him, he treats him the same way. And come on, like you treat, like I don't know. I go by, I treat people how I want to be treated. So like this woman is being respectful, so I'm gonna treat her with respect. Like yeah, like maybe she's she's a she's a heavier woman, but you don't gotta play that sound. She was. There's no kids. There's no justification. And your father talk. See what fathers don't do. Hold on, ladies, because this is gonna hurt. Hold on, all of you. Men know the truth. And when you look at your little girl, you know either she's a looker or whether or not she need to keep her ass in school. But if she need to keep her ass in school, the one thing you tell her is to stay in the gym because that's a way of saying, you don't look that good, you need to keep your ass fit. And far too long. That's a fact. There was one point, that's a fact though. Cause I don't know, like, there was one point when, um, I think I was like, what was I? I was probably like in, a, like, I was probably like in like a freshman in high school, or something like that. Maybe I was like in middle school and I was getting bigger. And I was going on vacation and my dad was just like, yeah, you're getting big <laughs> right away like that. Like I was like, oh, I got to get in the gym. I got to get back in the gym, cut that off. Yeah. But I feel like, how do you say that to your, like, if you're a dad and how do you say that to your daughter? Like, because that's your, like, that's going to be your baby. Like, how do you say that? You know, it's kind of, a, ah. I feel like that's a hard thing to say, but sometimes you have to say it because it, it, it's better for them to hear from you. So too often, our too. women just let that go in one ear after the other and end up being educated, that's fine. You may be nice and everything else, but I'm six foot four and you weigh like 30 pounds, 35 pounds more than me. Yeah, that's true. So when I play that noise, most black women get offended like, oh. I'm not offended. I, I know who I am and I'm I'm not in the situation that other people are in, so I'm not offended. But how old are you again? 28? I'm 35. Okay. Um, when was the last time you were dress size six? Yeah. I never was a six. Yeah, you were. You no. Didn't just go, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't just go to bed after recess and wake no, up and do a full thing. dress Every, size. Even in, even in high school, even I played basketball. I was. So you don't like, remember when you last time you was dressed size six. You were. 
have a Hey, that tell her. Yeah. Okay, I need you to understand something. That's that that's sad. Well, I don't feel bad it's about sad that. Because, it's sad because Yeah, bro, like don't feel bad about it. Like what? Don't feel bad about it. Like the last time so many of our women and, and you're not uncommon. Yeah. I love I don't know. I love I love I'm liking her vibe with it. She's not really phased. I mean I'm sure she sees watches content, so she's like she knows how he is, so she's not really phased by it. So last time so many of our women can remember when they were healthy weight is when they were children. But no lie, like she is heavy to, she's heavier than me though. So but so she got to she's heavier than me. But yeah. So I, I, and I'm, I'm saying this so because I want you to understand. Here's what men are thinking. Here's honestly what men are thinking. If the last time a woman was a healthy weight was when she was a child, <laughs> the chances of her, even if she lost a few pounds to get into a wedding dress, that ain't real. She is going to just be bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and mm, bigger. That's the. That's what men are thinking. Yeah. yeah. That's why when yeah. you ladies say that's true though, that's true. Like, like, like you have to be like, I don't know, like it's it's just it's just, it's always just a good thing to incorporate the gym into your into your day to day, like or just eating healthy because like it's just good for you. But he's right though, like some you know people, just everyone, even men and women, like they have the tendency to like lose weight for something for some event, and then like you know, but just <laughs> gain it right back. Whereas you you know you want to be consistent in everything that you do like and because once you create that pattern, now you have a routine and you, you know you just progress. It becomes like just second nature, and it, you know you, it will go into your thirties, your forties. You know you're not gonna think about it. You're just gonna be just gonna be you know second second nature to you. But some people like will just <sighs> gain the weight. Like I'm in the gym and isn't it? It don't matter to me at this point. It's like. Show me your pictures 10 years ago. And if you look the same, he's like, because what happens when women tend to get in relationships today? They get comfortable. They, get, they com get comfortable. That's, that's, that's both though. That's both. Like both people get comfortable and they gain weight. Like it just happens. And then, but you have to be oh, self-aware. Both of you guys, I like, have to be self-aware, but like, oh shoot, like we're getting weight. Let's cut this out. And then you guys work to cut it out. And then you, you know, build a routine and then, but that's, that's, that happens at both parties. It's not just, you know, it's not just the woman. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I got beans, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, chicken, turkeys, rabbits. You made it! And see, that's the point. I don't know. He thinks he's funny, but he's not like, <laughs> I'm not even laughing. Like, like the jokes no, are not hit. They don't make bro. jokes about it. Yeah, to, to lighten it up, but but no, like, you're telling the truth. It, it, it's like this, but, you, tell but the, the the way you, women tell men of this of the world what you think we deserve by your attitude and your opinions, and yeah. the rank and file woman today is telling men you don't deserve much, and it's like take me as I am. Mm, yeah, that's a fact though. Like that's a fact, especially nowadays. Like I think you got to be like women are like they want everything. Not all, not all women, obviously, but they, a lot of them like just they want every, they want a man to have it all, but like they're not bringing what like they're not bringing anything to the plate. Like, how can you, what man in their right mind is gonna get with a woman, like be serious with a woman that isn't also bringing something to the plate? I know the for a fact I'm not like just as much as I'm bringing to the plate, you have to bring the same thing or like. Like you have to be bringing something. You have to be adding value. Like you can't be, you can't just. I can't just be give you all the things that I've worked for, like hard for, and you know, like you're not providing anything. You're not adding any value to my life. Why am I going to be taking you serious? Like, and nowadays it seems like women, at least in our in our generation, is like they want it all. Like they want everything. But when you ask them what are they doing, oh, yeah, I'm giving you my company, or I'm giving you the box, like. That's petty. And men are just like, no. I don't think that's fair because we don't talk. But you just have to be selective. Like, you know, you just have to be like, really selective with the women that you like give your time to. Like, you can't you can't be giving your time to anyone. Like, I'm to mad. Like, you just got to be selective. Like, don't not everyone deserves your attention. Not everyone deserves 
good time. It's just that's a fact. That's how I. We'll take I think. them as they are. Well, but we don't take them as they are. Mary Blige had this song, but the thing is, you don't take them as they are. But but most women expect men to take you as they are because. Think about all the women who yeah, come, who come to my show with children and still expect yeah. the man, the six figures, and take care of their kids. Yeah. So, I agree. Um, now that I thought about it, how do we get... Like, it's, I feel like it's more men getting with women that have kids than than women getting with men that have kids. I I rarely see a, a woman getting with a man that has children. It rarely happens. But if it, if that does happen... He has to be a high value man, meaning he has assets. Like he has, like he's provides value in some type of field. So like he's he's good, and like that's the those are the situations that I've seen that a woman would get with a man that has or he has he has kids, but it's the regular smegular guy, the regular dude in the street. Like there's no way the like the. Uh, a, like a good looking girl is gonna get with him if he has kids. Rarely happens. Obviously, you have outliers, but it rarely happens on the, on average. It just doesn't happen. We get a realistic standard because I, I think most women really just believe they're entitled to a man because somebody don't have sex with them. Is, is that yeah. the same? Facts. I'm uh, having someone having sex with you is the same as being in a relationship. Huh? I said, I don't think that's not true. Someone's, just because someone's willing to have sex with you doesn't mean that you guys are in a relationship. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I agree with what she said. I thought she said, <laughs> I thought she said, like, once you have sex with someone, you're in a relationship. I was like, that is not true. There's some women that think like that, but that's not true. But I agree with what she said. Just because you have sex with someone, just because you have sex with someone doesn't mean you are in a relationship. I agree with that. Well, no, it doesn't. But, you know, that doesn't matter to most folks. Most, most, you know, one thing I do know about, about women in particular is that women, you know, it's just the way you're made. It's like you're, the highest level of man that will kick it with you is the a level of one thing she qualifies for. A man realizes he just got lucky that day. So, all right, uh, I would say this. Are you an attorney? I am. Uh, you best get that, get that trainer. And uh, come on, man, dress size six. I don't think I'll ever be a six, but we'll see about that. Just be healthy, like don't forget the numbers. Just be like, just get to the point where you can you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, like that's how I feel. Like just get like forget what the standard is of what people say you should be. That's dress size six, dress size. I still don't even know what that means. If you look at my other videos, like I still don't even know what that means. But what I'm saying is like, it, oh, your goal should your goal should always be, when you look in the mirror, do you like what you see? If you don't work for like work like put in the work to get to the point where when you look in the mirror, you're like, yeah, this this dude, yeah, he's killing shit. like you know. The same thing with a female. She looks at us. Like, you want to be to the point where you look at yourself in the mirror and you you you're like, yeah, like nobody's messing with me. That's how you want to feel. Like, like you want to look at yourself, so work to the point where you can look at yourself in the mirror and like what you see. Forget the numbers, the dress size, say, forget that. Like, I don't like that. Just, you got to be able to like what you see when you look in the mirror. That's it. And just Thank keep and maintain uh, that. Uh, what's the, oh, I what do you think you'll be? What do you think you'll be? A I tier? think the is healthy for me. Yeah. Okay. See, now, yeah. now I might have to counselor. Well, she to treat the witness as hostile. Why do you think a teen is healthy for you? Wait a minute. What? Who qualifies you, sir? Oh, uh, because I'm the image consultant. I'm like, why are you at five foot eleven? Five eleven. Okay. Uh huh. But a dress size ten is not healthy for any woman. Have you seen the five eleven at um? Ma'am, 145 pounds. I want you to go back. And look, in the 1970s, the women yeah. who were five I foot agree. nine or high. My mom's five foot nine. Yeah. And I have pictures of her her entire life. It's the most she ever weighed was 142 pounds. 5'11", 150, 155. They're volleyball players. Man, yeah, yeah. And see, the thing is, if you give yourself to a dress size 10, that just really means, what, four dress sizes? No. And I'm being, I'm being 
reasonable is whether she be dressed dress size four. Gosh. Well, oh, yeah, or laugh at that. You know what comes next? I'm a PhD. <laughs> That's what happens because as you get older, you get more set in your oh, ways. That's funny. No, as a woman gets older, she gets more set in her ways. It's only more likely that you're going to pick up more weight no. because more set in your yeah, it, no, it definitely gets harder. Like, it definitely gets harder. I feel like the older you get, that's why you want to start. You want to start early to build that routine so that like it becomes second nature. Because if you're trying to get into it now at 35, 40, like you're already so busy, and you, if you have kids, it just gets ten times harder too. You know, true. But you, if you already have that routine incorporated in your life, then you're gonna find ways to get it in because it's like it becomes like when you get when you're not in the gym, and you feel weird like that's how it really feels like you feel like something's lost in that day my point is make selection opportunities i mean at 35 so it's not like you know what i'm telling you she's funny is i'm trying to say the nice way around if you want to have a shot to get the kind of man you want mm -hmm. that's the way to do it because if you think you're gonna just slow roll it, I get what he's saying. I get because men we we're visual creatures. Like, is like yeah, like I think I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of people, if you watch this channel, if you just watch stuff like this. I'm sure you've seen, heard this quote before, but like or this statement before, which is the first thing that gets a man to you know approach you is your looks. Like it's kind of sad to say, but that's just a fact your looks gets him to approach you but your personality gets him to stay she might she seems like she has a bomb personality but i think what he's saying is that like you need to you might have to improve on your looks and stuff like that like so you, like your your figure so you might that's why you got to go in the gym and drop like drop a couple lbs so so like and then once you do that you know the, the people that you the men that you're looking for are gonna like find you physically attractive and then once they, that's what's, that's what's, that's what really what's going to make them come to you. And then boom, now you're going to have a larger selection of men and then you can actually, you know, pick what you want. So I get what he's saying. I really do get what he's saying. But my thing is like, just get to a weight where, you know, you feel like, like you like what you see in the mirror most of the time. And if you're, you have to be objective with yourself. Like if you really like, if you're being objective with yourself and you like what you see in the mirror, most likely other men are going to like what they see. That's just, just a fact. Yeah. That's still that's still gonna be around 190 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's still more than a man. Mm -hmm. Not gonna work, sis. That's true. Uh, and I'm not gonna and I'm, I'm not gonna and Let's I'm see. not gonna start telling. That's true. Uh, I'm gonna end it there, man. Just make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know like what you guys think about this conversation with Kevin. Let me know that in the comments below. It's your boy Vaughn, and I'm out.